So more benchmarks of AMD's Ryzen 7 4700G flagship Renoir APU have leaked out, and this time we get to see even more impressive overclocking than before. So the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G is aiming to be one of the most impressive chips from AMD in terms of overclocking potential that has been shown with the latest benchmarks by IT Cooker. Now we've already seen some impressive performance capabilities of the Ryzen 7 4700G APU, which is in fact the flagship of the desktop Renoir APU family. From superb memory to stunning OC support, the Ryzen 4000 series APUs are shaping up to be quite the performer in all regards. Now most of the leaks have been coming through this particular leaker, which is IT Cooker, who has been consistently supplying fresh leaks for the chip, and the latest one shows the 4700G has a lot more room to offer when it comes to overclocking than originally thought. So the CPU-Z screenshots he provided shows the 4700G is based on the 7 nanometer Zen 2 core architecture. It features 8 cores and 16 threads with 4 megabytes of L2 cache and 8 megabytes of L3 cache for a total of 12 megabytes of cache. Now this is definitely lower than the 32 megabytes of L3 cache which are available on the 8 core Ryzen 7 3800X but this is due to the more monolithic nature of the chip, which relies on a single package rather than the chiplet-based design of the Ryzen 3000 series Matisse desktop CPU processors. So the CPU features a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost clock of 4.45 GHz. Now this does match earlier specification leaks that we saw, and the CPU does still operate within a 65 watt TDP budget and is compatible with the AM4 socket. So the graphics side features the enhanced 7 nanometer Vega GPU, which comes with 8 CUs for 512 stream processors. So it's clocked at 2100 MHz on the GPU side, which makes it one of the absolute fastest integrated graphics chips to date. The latest set of benchmarks were conducted on the B550 Aorus Master motherboard and from IT Cooker himself. The motherboard seems to offer better memory tuning and overclocking support than the previous two motherboards that he used, which were the ASRock B550 Tai Chi and the ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Impact. Now two 8GB DDR4 DIMMs were utilized with a 360mm Cooler Master ML360R cooler. For the memory overclock, the CPU was configured to 1.3875 volts at a 45.25x multiplier, which was used to the means of the Ryzen 7 4700 GPU, hitting 4.525 GHz across all eight cores. Now the two Patriot DDR4 memory sticks were configured to run at 4400 MHz CL14, and during the test, IT Cooker achieved a platform with a 1 to 1 FCLK with the Infinity Fabric link hitting 2.2 GHz. For comparison, IT Cooker also tested the Ryzen 7 3700X on the same platform, which could only hit 1900 MHz on the FCLK. The Renoir platform reportedly delivered 10 nanosecond lower latency than the Matisse platform, which bodes really well for upcoming Ryzen 4000 series APU lineup. So the CPU was overclocked at 4.615 GHz and tested within the CPU-Z benchmark where the Ryzen 7 4700G APU crushed the Ryzen 7 3700X with 11% better single-threaded and 15% better multi-threaded performance. So the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X does run at 5% lower boost clock of 4.4 GHz versus the 4.165 GHz overclock that the Ryzen 7 4700G was still running at, but still with just a 5% frequency increase, the Ryzen 7 4700G APU was able to deliver up to 11% performance gain. Now versus the Core i9-10900K, the 4700G posted 5% higher single core and 15% higher multi-threaded scores. Now do note that these were benchmarks apart from the memory, overclock, test, and CPUs. We're all running DDR4 DIMMs at the same configuration, but that's not all. See, IT Cooker was able to push the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G all the way up to 4.815 GHz across all eight of its cores, which leaves the previous 4.65 GHz overclock in the dust. So we don't know about the stability of the system of this overclock or what sort of cooling and voltages the CPU is running at, but the leaker seems to be fond of putting his 360 millimeter radiator in a bucket of chilled ice water, which may not be reflective of real world use, but not as ridiculous as the use of LN2. If that is the case, we can actually see the Ryzen 7 4700 GPU hitting such high clock speeds with solid AIO liquid coolers. We've already talked about the Ryzen 4000 series Pro APU lineup in our previous videos, but while our sources mentioned that the lineup would be kept exclusive to the OEM system integrator market, I do personally believe that AMD will open up sales of the standard Renoir parts in the retail channel soon after the Pro launch. I expect more details on those in the coming weeks. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you 
in the next one.